What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about how to film in each resolution and frame rate on the EOS R5 because some of them just aren't straightforward. So let's get into it. What's up everyone? My name is James and this is The Engineering Filmmaker where we talk about photo, video, travel, and tech. If this is something you're interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to like this video. So let's get into the content. It's gonna be a short one today. All right, so let's get straight into it. We're just gonna go over how to get into the resolutions and frame rates you might be looking for and to understand what you are getting when you click certain options. I did make a video about all the resolution and frame rates you can see up here. It just goes over the list of resolution and frame rates and some tips and tricks with them or about them that you might not know. So feel free to watch that video before this one. First, you're gonna hit the menu button and under the camera tab at the top, under tab number one, you will see movie record quality. Now you have to be in movie mode for this, but we're gonna go in there. We're gonna ignore the other options for now and just click on movie record quality. Once we're in there, we're gonna click on full HD just to understand what they do. So we have 24, 30, and 60 frames per second to choose from when you're in full HD, and this is if you are in the US standard, uh, not the PAL standard. Now you have the options to shoot between all eye and IPB in both 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second. When you go to 30 frames per second, you'll notice there's another option that's highlighted now and that's IPB light. It has a little arrow next to it. This is just basically a lower bit rate, a less data, a smaller file size version of video. Now let's go to the next option, which is 4KU. This would be 4K UHD. This would be the not as wide version of 4K. And you have the same options as before in 1080. So I'm not necessarily going to go over them. There is no option for IPB light at this point. The only option for IPB light is 108030 or 108025 if you're in PAL. The 4K UHD is 3840 by 2160 and you have your three frame rates to choose from. Now, if we go over to the next option, 4KD, that would be 4K DCI. This is a wider version. As you notice, it's 4096 by 2160, so it's slightly wider. You have the same options as before, except now you have 24 frames per second lit up. And I'm talking about 24 on the dot, whereas before I was talking about 23.98 frames per second. And then next we have 8KU, 8K UHD, same thing as the 4K UHD, except for now we don't have the option for 60 frames per second. And then the same thing goes for the 8K DCI. You'll notice though, when you hit 8K DCI, you have two more things that are highlighted. One being the 24 frames on the dot per second, and the other one is 8K RAW. Now, as I mentioned in my other video that goes over resolutions, you can only use 8K RAW when you're in DCI mode. Now, those are all the basic standard options you can choose from when you're in the resolution menu. That's pretty self-explanatory. If we go back one step, we can see that it says movie record quality, high frame rate, and 4K HQ mode. Let's talk about first the high frame rate mode. Basically what this does, if you hit enable on that, it automatically puts it in 4K 120 frames per second. And if you click on the movie record quality, you have two options, 4KD and 4KU, UHD or DCI. You get to pick, and that's basically it for the 4K 120 frames per second. And that is how you get to shoot the really high frame rates. Now, if we disable that and go back to the 4K HQ mode and click enable, you'll notice that now it says 4K define. For me, at least automatically always defaults to 30 frames per second. But if you click on it, you have the option between DCI and UHD again, and it's pretty self-explanatory. When you use UHD, you lose the 24 frames per second on the dot, but you can still do 23.98. Now, if we go back one more step after that, you'll notice there's an option that says movie cropping. Now, if we click enable on that, this gives us some cropping mode options. Now what this does is it takes 5.1K footage and it oversamples it to 4K footage so you can have a slightly better image than if you were to use regular 4K footage. However, this is a cropped mode so it does not use the full frame and you have to deal with that. So that's up to you as what you need to use. You can see what settings and stuff are on that and that's really it for the record modes. I hope you learned something on this video. I hope it was very helpful. If you did, feel free to hit that like button down below and uh, Let's help, let's grow, and let's learn. And I'll see you on the next one.